All right, this video we're going to solve general linear equations. Um, I have about five examples I'd like to show, and that's about it. All right, so here we go. First one, solve negative 12x minus 30 is equal to 6. All right, remember the goal is to isolate the variable x. So we've got the addition property of, of equality and the multiplication property of equality. Those were the two properties in the previous video right, that we're going to apply here. All right, so we're kind of doing a reverse of the order of operations, so to speak. Um, right, the ultimate goal is to isolate the variable. But prior to that, um, one of the goals is to get every term that has a variable uh, with it on one side of the equal sign and every term that does not have the variable with it to the other side of the equal sign by using the addition property of equality. So for example here, we have negative 12x minus 30 is equal to 6. This negative 30 does not have the variable x associated with it, so we can add 30 to both sides by going, all right, plus 30, plus 30. So that gives us negative 12x plus 0 equals 36, right? So now we write it that way because now we have negative 12 times x and to isolate that x, we need to divide both sides by negative 12. Or if you want to think about it, multiplying both sides by negative one, negative one twelfth. Right? And we do that, we're left with, this gives us x on this side, and equals negative 3 on this side. Right? And that's the solution to our equation. Again, it is an equation, so you can check it by taking the negative 3 and plugging it up here for x and then seeing if you get a true statement or a false statement. All right, let's try another one. All right, number two. Nine equals negative 12c plus five. So again, the goal is to isolate the, the variable, in this case, the variable c. All right, so everything that's got a c to one side, everything that doesn't have a c to the other side, so we notice, oh, there's only this one term that has a c. Uh, this five and this nine do not, so we're gonna get the five over to the other side. So we're going to subtract five from both sides. And when we subtract five from the, the left side, we're just going to get 4. And when you subtract 5 from the right side, you're just going to get negative 12c. So I'm kind of leaving that line out where I explicitly write out the minus 5, right? If you need to put that line in, where you do the minus 5 and the minus 5, then by all means, please put that line in. All right, then 4 equals negative 12c. And to get uh, the c isolated here now. We can divide both sides by negative 12. Yes, I know the first two examples were dividing by negative 12, um, but that's not always going to be the case. Just a coincidence here. So divide this by negative 12. Divide the left side by negative 12. And we're divided by negative 12, remember, because it's negative 12 times c. And we want to get the, the, the negative 12 to go down to a 1 in front of the c. We want the coefficient of c to be a 1. All right, so that gives us, what, negative one-third on the left side, and it gives us C on the right side. So C equals negative one-third. All right, so let's try another one. 3x minus 7 equals 5x plus 1. Now, notice we have a couple of terms here that have the variable x and a couple of terms that do not. So we want to be um, getting all the terms that have your variable on one side and all the terms that do not have your variable to the other side of the equal sign. So what we're going to do here is this negative 7, we're going to need to add 7 to both sides. Everybody see that? Okay, we're adding 7 to both sides. And at the same time, we're going to subtract 5x from both sides. Everybody see why? All right, so we're putting all the x's on the left-hand side. You do have to make that choice. Do I want to put the variables on the left, or do I want to put the variables on the right of the equal sign? And it does not matter. Just make the choice and then go with it. Here I've chosen to put the, the x on the left-hand side, so I'm subtracting 5x from both sides and then adding 7 to both sides. And that gives us, let's see, 3x minus 5x gives us negative 2x. Minus 7 plus 7 goes away, gives you 0. Uh, net 5x and negative 5x go away, that gives you 0, and 1 plus 7, which gives you 8. So this all simplifies down to negative 2x is equal to 8. And so to undo that multiplication here, we need to divide both sides by negative 2. Right? When you divide the, the uh, left side by negative 2, you can formally write it out like such. Divide the right side by negative 2, you can formally write it out like such. And say, all right, that goes to x, because negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1, and that goes to negative 4. So x equals negative 4. 
Again, you can check by taking negative 4 and plugging it in for x up here in both of them to see if you get a true statement. All right? Okay, so that's the idea. All right, those are the ideas. You just literally, at first, we're moving things right or left by adding or subtracting this to uh, both sides of the equation because you're trying to get all the terms that have, the, that have your variable on one side of the equal sign and all the terms that do not have your variable to the other side of the equal sign. All right, so now let's do one that's a little longer. All right, we have a little bit of algebra to do before we can start solving the equation here, right? We notice that we've got 2 times 2y plus 3. Well, we need to distribute that 2 out first, right? So we need to rewrite this as 6y plus 2 times 2y is 4y plus 2 times 3, which is 6, equals 16, right? So then we can look at combining like terms, right? We have 6y plus 4y. Well, that goes to 10y plus 6 is equal to 16. So we kind of simplify up each side, you know, whatever you can, combine like terms. So this left side just goes to that, 10y plus 6 equals 16, right? And now we go through the process of, you know, well, we want to isolate the y. Our whole goal is to isolate the y. So we want to subtract 6 from both sides. Now, I'm not going to write it out explicitly this time, right? If you need to, then you by all means do so. But I'm going to subtract 6 from the left side, which is just going to leave me 10y because subtracting 6 from this makes all that go away. At the same time, I'm subtracting 6 from the right side. 16 minus 6 is 10. Everybody agree? All right. And then we have 10y equals 10. So to undo this multiplication that's going on here, we need to divide both sides by 10. And again, I'm not going to write the, the explicit step down, but if you need to, by all means, please do so. So I'm going to divide the left side by 10 here. So 10y divided by 10 just leaves y. And then divide, by the, divide the right side by 10 as well, and 10 divided by 10 is 1. So the solution to this equation is y equals 1. All right, so if y is 1, then it's going to make this equation up here true. All right, follow the logic. All right, I want to do one more. All right, 10 minus 5x is equal to 12 minus 6x plus 7. Now, I chose this one because I want to talk about what's going on right here with the minus uh, parentheses 6x plus 7. Now, remember, that's really, there's a, a minus 1 in front of here, negative 1 that's in front of that parentheses. We need to distribute that negative 1 through first. Right? So we have 10 minus 5x is equal to 12. Now there's a negative 1 there, so minus, minus 1, let's see, negative 1 times 6 gives you negative 6x. So we have minus 6x, and then negative 1 times positive 7 gives you a minus 7. Right? Everybody see that? Distribute that negative 1 through. Now we can simplify up each side, so the left side stays the same, 10 minus 5x and the right side goes to negative 6x, and we have 12 minus 7, which is 5. All right, so now the goal is just to isolate, isolate our variable. So which side do you want to put the variable on? I'm going to choose the left side, and so therefore I'm going to add 6x to both sides, so that would give me 10, add 6x to both sides, would give you negative 5x plus 6x gives you a positive x. Okay. And then to get the x by itself, we need to subtract 10 from both sides. And so we get x equals negative 5, right? Because if you subtract 10 from the left, this goes away. If you, sub if you subtract 10 from 5, you get negative 5. So the solution to this equation is x equals negative 5. All right? All right, so enough looking at me. You need to go practice yourself uh, in order to um, uh, get good at solving uh, these linear equations. Um, make sure you check out the next video because the next video is going to be talking about solving linear equations that have fractions in them. I'm going to talk about a very specific way uh, that will benefit us um, not only now solving these equations but benefit us later on with solving more complicated equations. All right. so make sure you see that video next. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.